Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. Now, I don't have one of those flashy little things that I can pop up on the screen that says, Ch -ch -ch -ch, click and subscribe, and then the little notification bell, ring, ring, like that little thing. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. But before I get started today, uh, I got fan mail. Uh, and by the way, I have not checked my fan mail in a while. So, uh, oh gosh, that's not going to work. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to like face, face forward. Well, actually, he, you know what? I can just stand like that. that. That'd be, that'd be fine. My avatar, he can stand there and that'd be fine. Thanks code. You're welcome. Oh wait, no, my avatar sounds Russian, doesn't he? So thank you, Colt. Thank you for, for noticing me. You're welcome. All right. So the first thing that we have is a message. Um, actually, hold on. All right. It just says four code primate. Uh, from K. Oh, cool. Alright, uh, there's no address. So I can show that. He drew a wither. Oh, it's a, it's a wither, uh, not a wither skeleton, it's one of the withers. So, those things are on Minecraft, and those are some scary wither from Minecraft. Um, by the way, please subscribe to my channel. It is I Love My Pet, uh, D O underscore. I love my pet dog, right? I love my pet dog. Underscore phantom underscore forces S with a capital S. And please follow my Roblox avatar. Uh, it is lumber underscore is so easy. Oh, please give me a shout out in your, your video. P.S. You are the best. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, and shout out, shout out to your channel and shout out to, to your avatar name and all that good stuff. So I will put that right over here. I really need to get like a filing cabinet or something so I can file all these away. <clears throat> Next up we have two code primate from Bradley. And it says, Dear Code, I would love if we could play Lumber Tycoon 2. I have enough if you want to do it on a private server. My Roblox is Brad... Brad, oh gosh, Brad J Jam, Brad James, J-A-M-E-S, 54321, from your fan, Bradley. P.S. My mailing address is, don't say it on, on camera, <clears throat> thank you, uh, thank you for serving our country. Subscribe to me back at 10... Ooh, tin U D D underdog. O P peace. Oh, thank you so much. I uh, I would show it, but it's got your address on there, so I can't show it to the camera. But I can't I can't make out the name. Uh, so if you're if you're watching the video right now, uh, Bradley, put in what your username is down there at the bottom. That way that way I can see it in the comments section. Oh, I guess I should throw up my address, shouldn't I? I mean, if you guys want to like send, send uh, mail. Oh gosh, my camera's all messed up. Here we go. That looks better. So if you'd like to send fan mail, you absolutely can to that address right there. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's my PO box. I was like, <clears throat> oh, coffee cup. By the way, um, I can also do that. By the way, okay. So if you'd like one of these amazing coffee cups. Um, the Reaper's wife makes these, and I will put that up there as well. L look at that! Look at that cross advertising right there. So you can get one of the YouTube cups with like your your logo and your name and stuff like that. So if you want, that's the that's the number to call for your orders <clears throat> and their pricing, their pri their prices. So John, uh, John W. Dear Code, my name is Jonathan. I am 13 years old and I have been watching your videos for about two months and you are, you've quickly become my favorite YouTuber by far. I love your calm, quiet videos and it's nice change from the loud, noisy YouTubers. I also like how you make good daily videos. I don't know a lot of YouTubers that can do that. Big smiley face. Anyways, 
I have a video idea, maybe a series. I came across a Lumber 2 remake called Lumber Tycoon 2 Remastered, and it's really remastered. It's not one of those bad LT2 remakes. The graphics are stunning uh, with lots of new items. Anyways, the game was made by someone named the Remaster, the Master Remaster. You can read this on camera, I don't care. And then it says on the back, um, it does have surprising amount of dislikes though. I don't know what that's about. We're um, half face like that. Oh, hi Jack. I'm not, I'm not playing with Jack today. Uh, hold on. Jack, Jack, no help on this base. I'm reading fan mail. Smiley face, there we go. Okay. Uh, it does have a surprising amount of dislikes. I don't know what that's about. Any think I'm about it? Any. I think that's about it. Okay. Anyways, I think that's about it. Keep up the great videos. Sincerely, Jonathan. P.S. Which is better to grind? Uh, which is a better grinding method? Ice wood or lava wood? Uh, honestly, I would say ice wood. Ice wood is, uh, is the best by far, so far. Um, just because the amount of time versus the amount of effort. Because even though I can get a lot of money really quickly from um, from uh, lava wood, it still takes a tremendous amount of effort to not spill it all on the way down. So. And then next we have to code primate, and it says, Merry Christmas, code primate. So that, that should tell you how long it's been since I've checked my P.O. box. Uh, and in the front it says, Merry Christmas, code primate. And then it says, me. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And then it says, my family, why can't you act your age? You're 14. Uh, <laughs> sins five minutes. Sins five million, don't you dare. Don't you dare send five million. If you're 14 and you're, you're getting told to act your age, don't listen to them. In fact, if you're 39 years old and people say, why can't you act your age? Just take it as you're doing something right. <clears throat> I'm going to be on YouTube. Oh my gosh, you're recording. <laughs> Dear Code Primate, I'm requesting to do a video with you in Lumber Tekken 2. Uh, lol, I know that you probably have no business with a channel of my size, but I... Uh, I thought I'd give it a try anyway. I don't know if you remember me from the Halloween live stream, but you had told me, hit me up in the Discord, but I couldn't get a hold of you there, so I decided to send you a letter instead. Aww. I was I was thinking that we could go and get phantom trees on a private server. Um, I was just thinking a few ways that we could get a tree out from the void and came up with the uh, with this conclusion. It would be it will be completely experimental, but it just might work. So here's the plan: uh, we should bring the bridge down to the void with one of my eyes, and uh, and have it stay down for about an hour or two. Next, we make a really, really, really long 0.4 by 0.6 beams that we can put across the empty bridge gap. Then uh, we make three by 0.4 planks to lay across the four by six beams, creating some kind of temporary bridge to get our trucks across. Then we start on take a uh, tree, taking small parts off at a time, take them to the hole and put them in. Next, we bring them to our trucks and we have conveniently by the portal. We have one of us drive the truck back across the bridge to our bases and mill it while the other one gets more wood. Uh, I don't know, I could see that being an absolute gold mine and a lot of fun. Uh, again, you don't have to, but it would really, I would really appreciate it uh, if it was possible. P.S. Uh, my Discord name is noob311358, hashtag 9936. Uh, uh, P.P.S. My, is it P.P.S. or is it P.S.S.? I don't remember. My Roblox name is noob311358. 
Sincerely, Noob Empire. Well, okay, first off, the collaboration is a yes, but I have not been collaborating because I don't trust anyone. Um, I've been playing in private servers and, and playing like with some very close friends that if they were to scam or hack or do something to my base, I literally have their telephone number. So, um, yes, you, like you being a small channel, you having like one subscriber does not stop me from doing a collaboration with you. Um, but me being paranoid in the person that I am, I, I don't go public servers anymore. Your idea about um, creating a temporal bridge across the uh, thing, you can get the entire tree up. Um, you just have to have enough trucks to put it in. So um, what might be a better idea, and this is just a thought, is to take five trucks, like you and a buddy take five trucks, keep, keep an eye on whose truck is, is which, and when your buddy cuts their limbs, they put it into their trucks. When you cut your limbs, you put it into your truck. And if you do that, yes, you can get all the trucks back onto the, the bridge and get them up. So, um, did Jack come by here? Is that, is that why I was turned? So, that's that. Thank you guys so much for the, the letters of awesomeness. I really appreciate it. So, let's get, uh, let's get, the, oh, that's the Logitech. I don't want that. Let's get that faded out of there. And let's begin our day. What was I going to do? Um, oh, oh, we're on a, we're on a new base and I've got 28,000. That's not good. I got 28,000 from the last time we did some, uh, some ice wood. Uh, I don't think I had sold it off, but that's how much I got for selling off that, uh, that truck. Dude, don't run away. I saw you. You can't run. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, let's go and start in on the blueprints. So, let's get these first three. Okay. One. Two. I'm just going to ignore him. I'm going to ignore him like he's not there. Two. And three. Hopefully I can purchase all these at one time. And purchase. Chat with Tom. It totally looks like Jack's trying to trying to sell me things. Come on. Come on. Let's buy them all. I don't know. Uh, is twenty eight thousand gonna be enough? I mean I think I think that should be enough, right? Do we get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. So now we can do these three. <sighs> so, um, lots of things have been going on in the news. And I know that a lot of the younger audience might not understand what's going on completely. Just know that there's a lot of angry, upset people. And I don't agree or disagree with either side. I simply come on here and I listen to the news and I, I, I do my part to make an educated opinion about what's really going on in the world and try not to listen to the media hype about a lot of stuff. So, so some, something I was thinking about doing was uh, starting up a Roblox news channel, kind of like Robloxian news uh, with me and Jack and maybe Grammy and maybe Dark J and we do like a like a collaboration of news, the popular games, the games that are on the, the top page, something like that. But I thought about it and, and that would, that would take a lot of time and effort, I think. So I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. Come on. There we go. Apparently I already got that one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got that one for the uh, the other video, right? The smooth one, so I could glitch through doors and, and walls and stuff. I don't know why I'm doing Woods R Us first because I should be able to get all the blueprints over here. Um, I should be going over to Fancy Furnishings first, right? Because those blueprints you can't purchase until daytime, so there's a limited time, uh, limited purchase time. So, maybe. 
Anyhow, I figure once I have all the blueprints, we can start building and, and making things. Which, uh, I don't know. We're, are we going to build a house, maybe? An actual livable house? Something that Code himself would actually live in. And, you know, we could always go and, and look at some modern art houses or some modern architecture and kind of design it off of that, I think. Use some of the techniques that we've noticed that all the builders use. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, oh, lag spike, lag spike. Okay, is that it? I think that was three, maybe. Nope, one more. There we go. Boo, 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 boo. There we go. So, because this is a lumber video, how many of you are watching it strictly because it's lumber? Because when I go to look at my analytics, and when I take a look at like how many views per video and stuff like that, always, the lumber videos are the most watched. And I don't understand, like, Yes, I, I kind of built off of lumber, but I don't do just lumber. The jailbreak video. I mean, the jailbreak video had like 509 views within the first five hours. That's like 100 views per hour. Am I, am I just not interesting? I bet I'm not. And you know, it's, it's, it's my fault, probably. I could probably do with some editing. I think I missed this one, didn't I? Hold on, let's, let's check. Which one did I miss? Did I miss that one? Yeah. Corrugated walls. The best. Not really. I mean, those corrugated walls are really hard to sign. Did you guys see the uh, the tweet about the person that recreated the, uh, the lumber house? I thought that was really cool. If you're, if you're watching the video right now, dude, huge shout out to you for uh, getting it done. It looks exactly like it. We're just going to ignore Jack, okay? Maybe I should uh, maybe I should design a better house this time, because I've I've made a barn with Samper Life. You guys remember remember the barn? And I made a tree house, but I've never made like a. Oh, I guess I did make a house, didn't I? My recreation of my home home. My house, my actual house. That's on uh, slot six, I think. Oh, oh, I only need to purchase one. Thank you. Okay, that one there. This always takes so long, you know? And from the perspective of just getting it done, that's uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now, is I'm, I'm just getting this done. Because we, whoops. Are you pointing at me, sir? Sir Jack? Actually, I don't I don't know. Have you been knighted? Do I do I call you sir? Probably not. I wonder how you get knighted. Uh is there anybody from the UK? Can you tell me like what deserves a knighting down below? Oh, and uh another question. I've got a one foot by one foot. A uh, piece of land over in Scotland. It's like um, one of those little plot things, but it's a it's a one by one foot plot. Um, if I have that, is it really true I can become a lord or something like that? Somebody from Scotland, please. I gotta know. That or Ireland? No, it's it's definitely Scotland. Anyhow. That would be kind of cool. Have the title. Now welcoming Lord Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome to my channel. Hear ye, hear ye. Henceforth, the Code Primate will be known as Sir Code Primate. I don't know. I, I probably would be very, very bad at being royalty. In fact, I, I know I'd be pretty bad at... <laughs> At being royalty. I, I couldn't be a royal. Uh, oh, I did ask the other day, and this was just all in, all in good fun, but I asked... Uh, wait, did that... 
are already have it. Here you go, Jack. This is that's for you, buddy. That's your hat. Wear it in good taste. So, um, I had asked if I were to run for president, would you vote for me? And the first question that somebody said back was, uh, "What's your view on guns?" <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, so it's going to be like that kind of hypothetical question." So, um, I will tell you what my view on guns is. All right, I believe in guns. I believe that guns are should be carried and should be. Uh, like if you want to own a firearm and carry it at your disposal, you should, you should be able to the right to bear arms. It's part of our constitution. It's something that I defended. So I absolutely, I'm, I'm down with guns. Okay. Now what I'm not down with are people because guns don't kill people. I'm going to say that right now. People kill people and it's like one of the oldest adjective the attribute whatever it's called the one of the oldest sayings but it's true okay and did it say i already picked that up i think i already picked that one up and i'm adamant about that i would feel safer knowing that i have a gun and i register it and if it ever gets stolen they would have record of the the serial number and stuff like that and I don't care who you are. If you're making these laws against guns and all these different regulations on guns, it's not going to stop the people who are illegally buying guns in the first place. They didn't care about the laws in the first place. So why is the law for the gun going to just make our lives harder if I want to own a gun? So, yes, I do believe in guns. I believe in the right to bear arms and I believe the right to carry. And you should, you should too. That's one of your rights, you know? Uh, if not to provide food for your family, for sport and for fun, you know? It's fun to go out shooting guns. Um, whenever I was in the Marine Corps, one of my favorite things to do was go to the rifle range. Like it was, it was kind of like a week off work and you get to go shoot some guns and have some fun, you know? See if you could outscore everyone else. But also the right to defend your family, to defend uh, against enemy and against beast, you know? So, when you ask me, how do I feel about guns? I believe in them. I believe in guns. I believe in the rights to bear arms. But I also believe that they should be registered and tracked, just like everything else. I mean, you sit there and you, you're eating your Capri Sun, or you're drinking your Capri Sun. You're eating your, um, <clears throat> your snack. Uh, say peanut butter crackers and you don't think that that's got a serial number on it uh, and an MK code and it's like a it's being tracked being tracked like everything else you know a lot of people are like well less government control uh, have you looked at the world lately I drive around in my uh, my car right which has been federally regulated to um, run in certain conditions and with certain standards you know and if it's got smog control that's under control of the government with my id that was issued to me my driver's license which allows me to drive on the municipally paid roads of the city that i'm in with my public education <laughs> like when when people are like less government control the government's already got a ton of control and you are blind if you think they don't um, but at the same time, I think about all the information that we are like, oh, that's private information. How many times have you been asked to uh, give information to Facebook, to YouTube, to Twitter, and you willingly gave it up? Well, that's my birthday. Nobody should know my birthday. Really? Because you posted on Twitter the other day, happy birthday, such and such, and you totally ousted their, their birthday. So, I mean, that's one less security question I got to ask on a, on a bank statement. So I may be ranting and it's, it's very true, but I'm so tired of this idea that information is sacred and information is a secret. It's not information, your personal information, your road address, your, your street address, your telephone number. It's all open. I mean, if anybody wants it, it's there. That's scary. But at the same time, it's kind of good 
because back whenever I was growing up, doxing was an actual thing. Like you would dox somebody and like give out the personal information and oh no, somebody's got my address. Nowadays, it's not so much. Like if everybody knows everyone's address, then there's no point in doxing anymore, especially when all the information that you've given to the social media companies is, is already there. So, I mean, okay. <laughs> There's, there's still certain things that you'd like to keep private, you know? And like my medical records, I would like to keep those private, but I also know that having my medical records public would be very beneficial to anyone who needed them, you know? <clears throat> Say I was in an accident, just hypothetically, and they needed to know that I have an allergy to poison ivy, right? I mean, it's on file that I have an allergic reaction to it, but if I'm sitting there and unable to tell them myself of what I've got an allergic reaction to, and, and don't take that the wrong way. Most people do have an allergic reaction to, um, to poison ivy. I mean, that's the point of poison ivy. It's a defense for the, the plant to cause irritation and rash. Anyhow, um, my point is that whenever I get around it and this is this is when I was younger too I don't know if it's so much nowadays whenever he keeps pointing whenever I get around poison ivy whether it's being cut whether it's being uh, pulled it doesn't matter where the case is I break out so bad that my eyes swell shut my lungs are it becomes hard to breathe I can't swallow like that's how bad poison ivy is to me you know? <clears throat> now there's other stuff that people would feel embarrassed if it, if it got out about their medical conditions or whatever the case may be. But at the same time, I want you to understand that whenever you become embarrassed about something, it makes you feel isolated. It makes you feel alone. Like you're the only person that has that one thing that is embarrassing to you. But I want you to know it's not the case at all. In fact, if you go and look up the exact problem that you're faced with right now, there's probably over a million hits of someone who's had it before you. There's there's not really any new unknown cases about medical conditions or talks about anything. And that's I think that's one thing that we always forget. In, in my last video, I wanted to tell you about canceling the noise, to, to calm down, to turn off and relax and it's true you should definitely take some time to step away from the everyday noise of life but when it comes to things of emotional nature like embarrassment um, shame I said embarrassment already didn't I it's it's something that always seems very personal to someone and it really isn't, okay? So I don't want you to take your embarrassment or as a, as a shameful thing to have to yourself. Hi, Emily Ann, thank you for subscribing, I appreciate you. So if there isn't an embarrassing story or something like that and you're comfortable with it, absolutely, you can tell me in the comments down below if you want, but do realize that other people are going to see it, so don't make it too out there. Um, stuff that uh, gets put in my comments, if it's triggering a lot of people, like in a bad way, normally I try and remove it. But for the most part, I love this community. I love how you guys, you chat with each other, you talk to each other in the comments, and you, you spread advice. I love that. I love the Discord. You guys in there are absolutely amazing. Now, it gets a little crazy whenever I type something, <laughs> anything. I just type and it goes completely berserk. Like, oh my god, it's code, he's talking, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's calm down. <clears throat> but it's it's true, like, having that commodity, that camaraderie, camaraderie, com that, having that friendship, I'll, I'll just call it a friendship, even though it's really not a friendship, and we'll, we won't talk about that right now, but um, let's talk about the interaction of people inside the Discord. It's very strict. Do not get me wrong. 
all right? I know just as much as the next person that my Discord does not function like other Discords, okay? And that's because it's my Discord. I will keep my kids safe, they're inside there, and I will keep your kids and you safe while you're in there. I have a, an amazing staff. <sighs> Admins and protégés and administrators galore. So, oh, and if you need the link to the, the, it should be in the description down below, or it's in the about page. Either way, come over, hang out, chat, find some people. Go play some lumber. What was I talking about? Hmm. Okay, wait. Which one? Which one disappeared? Oh, that one. Okay. What about this one down here? Did that one disappear? Do I need to grab this one? Hold on. Which one? Which one? There should be one more, right? Aha, there it is. Okay, so let's throw that one out of the way, throw that one out of the way, and grab this one. Goodbye. Yes, I'd like to purchase this one, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. I love the E context. What I'm talking about is down there at the bottom left hand side. Whenever you pick something up, it gets this context box on it, like E to check and then to rotate. So, and when you get near Tom, <laughs> are you pointing to make it look like you're hitting the cash register? That's funny. Well, at least he didn't load and he hasn't given me any money, so. Uh. Jack, what are you doing up at this time, dude? It's like, Nine o'clock at night for me. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. So it's it's three o'clock in the morning for Jack. Jack, what are you doing at three o'clock in the morning in lumber, dude? He's like hanging out with you, coat. <clears throat> no, it's true. It's true. <sighs> oh my gosh, I am so sorry. We have gone over by two minutes. I will I will get this last one saved, and we've just been talking this whole time, haven't we? Oh, I missed I missed talking in lumber. Dang it. So buying all the blueprints took about 30 minutes. It, it took about exactly 30 minutes. Cause I, I still did a, uh, a fan mail at the very beginning of this. That's kind of awesome. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, surprise, it's not like normal gameplay videos. Um, I talk about things during the video itself that uh, normally probably wouldn't be talked about. Um, but you know, it's also things that are Human, they are human, they are mentionable, and your emotions are manageable. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you for your purchase. You're welcome. Uh, as always, oh no, I guess it's not always. I don't always say it, do I? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things it's supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. This is something I do every time. Oh, by the way, did you guys know that this sound is actually in lumber and you can hear it every once in a while? And if this is your first time ever seeing it, congratulations, you found the sound. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.